Hi, welcome back to AquaCloud channel. Today's topic is something that's really important in the world of software testing, and that's software testing reports. But before we dive in, make sure you've subscribed to the YouTube channel AquaCloud, where me and my colleagues are posting videos about testing and QA management every week. As a software tester myself, I know just how crucial it is to have comprehensive and detailed reports to track our testing progress, identify issues and communicate with stakeholders. But I've also seen firsthand just how difficult it can be to create these reports and make them useful for everyone involved. That's why I wanted to share my thoughts and experiences on this topic with you today. First off, let's talk about what a software testing report should include. In my opinion, it should cover things like the test plan, the test cases, test results and any defects found during testing. It should also be easy to read and understand so that stakeholders can quickly get a sense of where things stand. But here's the thing. Creating these reports can be really time-consuming and tedious. And if they're not done properly, they can actually do more harm than good. I've seen reports that were so convoluted and confusing that stakeholders and developers just ignored them altogether. And that's a real shame because a well-done report can actually help build trust and credibility between the testing team, developers and other stakeholders. So what's the solution? Well. In my opinion, it's all about using the right tools and processes. There are a ton of great test management tools out there and that can help you create reports that are both informative and easy to understand. For many years, our, teams, uh, our team uses AquaCloud for test management and its bug reporting features work really great for us. Speaking of tools that can help with creating software testing reports, I want to mention one that I use literally every day. It is called Capture. Capture is a bug reporting, bug recording tool that is designed to save time on communication between manual testers and uh, developers. The way it works is simple. You record the test run in Capture, it is a Chrome extension, and then send the Capture link to the developer. With that link, the developer will immediately get all the necessary information to reproduce the bug, including automatically transcribed test steps. You don't need to spend time on writing it manually. I hate it, to be honest, uh, this manual writing. And uh, um, Capture also includes saved information about your OS, the browser version, window resolution, data transfer, and console logs. What's really great about Capture is that it saves so much time for me. With all the data rich bug reports that can be generated in just two clicks, our team started fixing bugs much faster than earlier. But effective bug reporting, it's not just about the tools. It's also about having a solid process in place for creating and sharing reports. This means that having clear guidelines for what should be included in a report, as well as a consistent format that everyone can follow. It also means making sure that reports are reviewed and approved by the right people before they are shared with the stakeholders. 
So that's my take on software testing reports in test management. That's how it works for me. I think the reports are incredibly important, but they can also be a real pain to create. But with the right tools and processes in place, we can make sure that our reports are informative, useful, and easy to understand. In the video description, I will add a link to the blog article where you can find examples of really nice, understandable bug reports. Thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to like uh, this video and subscribe to the AquaCloud YouTube channel. And see you in the next video. Bye.